stupid you shit. Some Grubhub, man, on a bike and I got make, some stories, bro. Yeah. I got some stories on Grubhub, some embarrassing ones, bro. Like where like, you know, like the Krusty Krabs pizza and you had to deliver the pizza. Yeah. I was doing it on a bike too, just real struggle bus Biking in the, the pandemic. Yeah, bro, like holding that bitch like fucking twenty inch pizza, going down a fucking hill. I don't even try that. I don't even try that. Like, fuck this. I've had some pizzas that I've just straight up flat out dropped. Like it yeah. just flat out got dropped, and then I delivered. Well, it never it never exited the box, but okay. it's just. And the box is so fucking greasy. I feel like I'm going to hold it and just going to fall through my hands. It's going to like Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's going to fall through my hands. And I, like, dude, delivering that pizza to those people that it's all fucked up and you have a smile on your face. You persevere. Dude, dude. Just don't look in the box when we get down the street. <laughs> That's when I grew up a lot. But, dude, the pandemic was, like, cool because, like, you didn't have to meet these people face to face a lot. Oh, yeah, so you just, just drop the phone boom, phone phone and I'm on my, I'm the like I wouldn't text him that it's there until like five minutes, like until I'm down the road. <laughs> I'm down the fucking road. Uh, but man, that shit was. I feel for all those people. Your pizza's here. No refunds. Says the message. Yeah, dude, that shit, that shit was brutal. I, I don't think I ever got reported, which is amazing. Yeah, that's considering the dropping pizza. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Uh, my buddy called me one time and he's like. Hey man, what what are you up to? And I'm like, uh, I'm at, at work. Why? You know, like I'm kind of busy. And he goes, uh, Oh, my car broke down and I got an Uber Eats order in it. I'm like, Oh, that's rough. You better start walking. <laughs> you know. And he, he he ended up having to get someone else to give him a ride. Their food's like 40 minutes late, an hour late. I, at that point, don't you just give up on the delivery? I, I food I food's different than a ride for me though. But it's all it's all uh it's all concepts. I don't know what his dire situation was. A dire situation, indeed. I guess. I don't know. I've had some Uber rides where I called and they showed up, and I just like told them I was like, "Leave, just leave, just leave." Just leave. I want to be here. Don't leave. <laughs> I was just like, "Just get out of here, dude." Never mind. I changed my mind. Just yeah. get out. Go, just go get out of here, bro. Life. Be free. And I didn't know there was like an Uber canceled this ride. And I was like, oh. so I waited too long, so I had to pay for it or whatever. Isn't that the worst? Big worse, you bro. Pay for something that you didn't even use. You Big like worse. You got cheated, but you're kind of like, well, it's my own fault anyway. So I was hammered too. I was like, I was just messaging the guys like, just leave. He's like, you don't want to ride. I was like, just leave. Just leave. But I think he's trying to tell me he's like, cancel the order. I was yeah. like, I was like, just leave, dude. Just get out of here, scat. Uh, he can probably cancel on his end, right? But that's what I'm saying. He, but, but I think yeah. he wanted the money. I think if the if he gets there, he wants there, to just sit there and collect your money. Yeah, and, and he knew I was probably fucking just smacked. I d- one night I ordered like. Four Ubers in a row or five Ubers. And I Fucking 100 bucks right there. They're like taking too long or something. I woke up the next morning and realized Uber had charged me for every single one of those fucking canceled rides. It was like $4, $5, $4, $5. It started going up at one point. It was like $6, $7. So we got one today. Yeah, they're like, oh, we got a sucker. And then finally it's like an hour later you see me paying like double what the cost should have been for the ride. It was like I just kept canceling it. And eventually I paid like 30 bucks for a fucking ride. That's a luxury that I spend, like, I'm not afraid to spend money on, though. Transportation. Transportation. Well, it's a big deal, too. Like, yeah. it's a, a private car service. It yeah. shows up, and it, it'll take you wherever. And it's like, like we're spoiled by modern. Technology. That's what I'm saying. Like, I told, I told a lot of people, too, like, when I, like, I show up somewhere, because you can have a really nice car at your fingertips in, like, five minutes yeah. that chauffeurs you around. Yeah. I was like, this is straight up luxurious Imagine to the modern like, man. In the 80s, dude. If you had a private yeah. car service, you could just call up anytime and go yeah. somewhere and be like, man, this dude's balling. He's super rich. And you can Look call for other people, demand. too. Just right there. Yeah. You can like, I'm like, oh, Niels, you come in here Let me for the podcast? Let me order you a fucking Uber, bring yeah. you here. You know how boss shit that is? That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, you can just like, uh, it's like some movie. I'm going to summon you to my apartment. Let me just type Next. in the details. The yeah. car Boom. will be outside in three minutes. So yeah. Muhammad, Get Muhammad, in, and a black Lexus. Yeah, <laughs> coming to pick you up, bro. Don't ask any questions. I've had some weird ones, but uh, it's just it's just a really good time to live in. And now that they're doing helicopters and they're doing private flights, oh, that's wild. that they're going to be bringing that in. There's private jet things for the modern man. You see that? Uh, He's had to have the, the money. Flying cars, man, they're really taking off. Pun intended. 